What is going on, you guys? Zach Munster coming back from a very long break. I don't, I don't know. It just it seems like I keep missing all of the trends on YouTube, and on top of never promoting myself, I, uh, I, I, I don't know. I got nothing to say. But I felt the urge to start playing old school again. If you guys watched my channel, you know I tried to do an unofficial Iron Man. Uh, when OSRS came out and when it started becoming a thing. I, I don't know. Basically, I, I cheated and then ended the series because I wanted to start chopping yous and a dragon axe was more important than the series at the time, I guess. But since then, I've kind of made this a main. I've done a lot of stuff. You can see my stats are pretty decent. I did quite a lot, actually. Did a ton of questing. You know, I played the crap out of this in my off time, but that was two years ago, I think. And I, I don't know. There's just there's so much being added, and I watch so many RuneScape streamers and YouTubers. I just I want to do something to reinvigorate my love for this. So as you can see, I have cleared out my bank of pretty much anything of value. I think I got everything. I could be wrong. Honestly, I have no intention of s cheating in any way. I mean, I guess there's no rules. I'm just going to rebuild from nothing. As you can see, I obviously have like 5 million platinum tokens. But I think I'm just going to start anew and record it so that I have a little bit of motivation. Anyway, I think first order of business is to get some money and keep these clips short. So I'll try and figure out something to do and come back. Right, so I guess like most people when they rebuild, I think I'm going to start off with a little bit of Casting Bloom. I had a sickle in my bank, if you guys saw, in my little quest tab. And of course I have a Draman Staff because that's not going to... Uh, it, it literally is just time to get that back. But I'm going to do a couple inventories of this. And on top of just rebuilding to some unknown goal. I think I'm going to focus on skilling as well. I do want to progress my account. It's fairly newbie right now. So I think what I'm going to do is just do a couple inventories of this for some money and then probably just buy a pickaxe of some kind and go hang out in Motherload for a while just to See how that makes me some money. Give me a chance to AFK, all that jazz. And, uh, yeah, so I will... Oh, what? This is so new. Can I... Can I go... Oh, my God, I can go wherever I want from here. <gasps> There's so much new stuff. Okay, so I'm at a, a bit of a issue. I didn't destroy these because I, I guess the last RuneScape I played was RuneScape 3, and I was like, oh, well, I mean... They're not really worth anything. And then I remembered there's a teleport to a fairy ring, I think. I might be wrong. I, it's Like I said, it's been like two years. But it'd be kind of overpowered to do this method. I literally just got to the bank and thought about it. But um, I think I'm going to avoid them. Maybe I'll just like I'll unlock them with like once I start actually doing slayer but I don't know I'd I'd like to add that little extra challenge but I also don't want to go through and shift drop 10 inventories of slayer rings it just it would hurt my soul so I think I'm just going to do the route of uh using the fairy ring I I can't think of an, another efficient way to do this so Yay, slow methods. Right, so I just decided to sell that first batch, buy myself a dueling ring, and I, the only thing I could think of that was mildly close to a you know teleport and a fairy ring was the ectophile. And then I just restored prayer and banked at Clan Wars. So I did eight more trips of that. Should be more than enough. This is the leftover from the previous. Plus that one GP I left for the bank holder not realizing that those were things now so you know rip series already but that should be enough for a rune pickaxe i am going to go mine my life away at mother load let me uh buy this real quick 
I'm starting at 370,000 mining experience, and I don't think I have the whatchamajigger for Falador, if I can find it. Let's see. Oh, wow, I don't even have the easy ones done yet. Okay. So I guess we're going to do it the slow way, and uh, I'll come back at you once we get that loot done. Right, so uh, quick little update here. I just passed 1,000 pay dirt. As you can see in the little area here, this is what I got. Took me about three hours, kind of AFK. And I got 66,000 experience, as well as, where the hell is this? 243. Okay, wow, can't talk. Really late, my bad. Let's keep going. Right, it's a new day, a new grind. I sold all the ores from the last clip and I decided I'm going to do that a little bit later and just update you guys when I hit 70 mining, I think. I, it, it'll give me something to do in my AFK time. But I had just enough money to buy myself some cheap Slayer gear. And I know with prayer flicking I don't really need this, but I'm kind of not a PVMer as much as other people on YouTube but my current task is Dust Devil so I'm gonna try out that uh, Karend cave and uh, see what their new drop tables are like and I'm kind of a derp for buying the Armado cloak because I have an Ardone cloak which is much better for the teleport so I'm gonna go quickly sell that back okay that was the wrong hole <laughs> No pun intended. Ow. Alright, it's so not a bad first trip, but, uh, eh, you know, it works. I don't really know how to, let's see, does that work? Is there anything in there that's mine? Oh, that is an awesome first trip. Now, I also looted a bunch of stuff. There's a bunch of dudes down there killing it right now. Just kind of leaving crap on the ground. And I let it go. I was like, you know, I'm not going to steal the drops. But they just literally weren't picking them up. So I'm like, oh, well, more for me. Let's go for trip two. Hey, first ancient shard ever. Kind of hyped to get that new sword. I don't know where I use it, but uh, it looks cool. And it probably does a crap ton of damage. Right, second trip is done, and I think I'm going to get some rune. They don't seem to be hitting that much through Proslite when I run out of prayer, so I'm going to grab some rune with uh, the loots. I think I have some money in here, and then I'm going to pick up some more monk fish. Yes. And I'll get back at you when the task is done. Okay, um, I, I, I don't know what's going on here. This thing looks intimidating as all hell, but uh, it doesn't look like it's hitting me. And uh, this lovely Iron Man, Iron Hutros here, cheering me on, saying I'm going to get a heart. I, I think that's the magic thing, kind of like the, the Vecna skull from RuneScape 3. I don't know. But uh, we'll see what we can do here, and hopefully we get that heart, because apparently it's 39 mil. Rebuild done, right? Yeah, we should just learn that <laughs> Zack's not a lucky person. <laughs> Shit. That task was insane profit. I started with like 1k cash and a little bit of food. Now I got 154k from all the Alex and coin drops. I also have all of this. I don't know if I'm going to sell it. It's probably not worth a ton and I really don't need much right now. I got Slayer gear. I got some rune armor now. But um, I think, oh yeah, I got those too. I think I want to go kill some cave horrors. This whole not having 15% accuracy and damage thing is kind of bugging me. So uh, we'll try those out, see if I can grab some dehyde and stuff, and uh, if I get a black mask, I'll uh, come back. First trip wasn't too bad. Got a few decent loots. No mask yet, but I did get enough toad flax seeds for a farm run, which, if you didn't know, was my favorite skill. So I'm going to go plant these and wait for the profit to grow. What kind of farmer doesn't have the Lumbridge ring? I, I need to fix this. What? Uh, I need 42 Hunter to get the medium tasks done. Mm. No. I must be one with the swamp. Kill me now. What is this? What was the point of that? And then... It, mm. 
Why do people like this skill? Fucking... <laughs> finally. Just, just... Get me out of here. Just, just, no. Also, I did the Lumbridge tasks. Bye. So, apparently I actually got pretty lucky. 255 kills for the mask. That's, what, half the drop table? You could have said, yeah, you could have gone for, uh... Like, picking mushrooms for money. Nah. Feels way better to get the drop by yourself. But, that's out of the way. You're gonna do some farm runs and some Slayer. And if anything exciting happens, I'll come back at you. So I'm getting kind of wrecked in Slayer right now. I think what I'm going to do is go pick some mushrooms. I think unlocking the black mask was a good point to say, like a, a challenge to unlock Slayer rings. I, I don't know how to put it, but I'm going to go use some Slayer rings, pick myself enough mushrooms to get tour eggs top and bottom, and hopefully that'll help this Slayer grind so I don't have to use so much food. Yeah. And that should be about enough for... What did I say I was going to get? Torags. Yeah, there we go. Did that. It took like 30 minutes. I don't know. But uh, I'm going to go buy that, and I think that should be it for this episode. In the next one, I'm probably going to be doing some Slayer, uh, maybe AFKing some Brutal Black Dragons. We'll see. All right, well, I suppose I'll do my outro here. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions, let me know down in the comments, and I will try them. I... Definitely need to work on my PVM skills, so maybe won't be able to do those for a while, but, you know, if you got any interesting or unique ways that you've made money or that you've heard of making money, let me know. I'm going to keep up the AFK grind, and I'll probably come back next episode, hopefully with 70 mining. So till then, see you later.